hundred for Jimmy V to donate. As Jimmy V week continues, we continue on here from Madison, Wisconsin. Kevin Connor, Seth Greenberg, Jay Billis prepping you for the big one tonight, 930 Eastern on ESPN. It is Duke versus Wisconsin. Jay, when I think back to all of the great Duke big men over the last 35 years, uh, Mason Miles Plumley come to mind, Sheldon Williams, Carlos Boozer, Elton Brand, Christian Leitner, Danny Ferry, Mark Allery. Keep going. You'll get there eventually. We don't have that much time. <laughs> he was one of the best screeners in Duke history. He was. And, and that guy right there, Jaleel Okafor, is right up there with all of them. Yeah, he's the real deal. He's only 18 years old, but for a guy the, uh, of that age to have that skill level is really impressive. And, and he's unique as a player. He's got great hands. He's got terrific feet. And he's got a very good understanding of the game. And he's learning how to post deeper and how to post better. But if he draws a double team, he's much better at passing out of it. Look how he handles the ball. It's like a grapefruit in those huge hands. But he's got a terrific touch. So when he gets the ball again, gets pushed off the block, he needs to get deeper position. When he does, he's going to score get fouled every time. But he assesses the situation. He doesn't get a double team. And then he takes his guy one-on-one. -on -one, gets to the middle. And he's really good at getting off a soft shot and getting it off quickly in the lane. Seth, Frank Kaminsky can do a lot of those same things. He can also do other things that maybe Jaleel Okafor can't. Frank Kaminsky's got a unique skill set. His skill set really fits this Wisconsin system. He's a seven-footer that can step out and shoot the ball to the three-point line. So coming into trail position, off a ball screen. Right here, he sets a ball screen. The offensive player rejects the ball screen. What does Kaminsky do? He steps back, creates space. If you defend inside out, he steps into it. He can knock down the three. But because of his ability to stretch the defense as a seven-footer, it enables six-foot-eight-inch small forward Sam Decker, whether it's coming off a cut or a direct post-up, to get in the lane without a double team and score. So Kaminsky's versatility is key to this Wisconsin offense, but this Wisconsin offense really fits his skill set. And that's what they're going to do. I, I think that Wisconsin is going to try to get Jalil Okafor out on the floor to make him guard in ball screen situations and guard in the middle of the floor where he's got to guard Kaminsky out in space. And then Duke's going to try to get the ball down low to make Kaminsky, uh, uh, Kaminsky guard Okafor in the post where he's more likely to pick up a foul or two. Getting fouls on those big guys is going to be a, a big play in this game. We talked about the bigs. Obviously, the coaching matchup is outstanding as well. Mike Krzyzewski and Bo Ryan, over 1,700 wins between the two. The Mazda road ahead. Duke rarely plays ranked teams on the road, and most of those matchups are courtesy of the ACC Big Ten Challenge. Coach K's squad will be tested tonight here in Madison. More to come as the Mazda Halftime Report rolls on. This Halftime Report is presented by Mazda. Conviction, creativity, courage. This is the Mazda way.